Welcome to ESET Advice. Today, we will show you how to configure ESET Protect to automatically deploy ESET endpoint solutions to unprotected computers. To begin, log in to your ESET Protect web console. Once you get to the dashboard overview, select a particular group that represents a department in your office. In this example, we will use Test Group. Within Test Group, go ahead to select New Dynamic Group and enter your preferred group name. After creating a new dynamic group, we will next create a new template. Enter your preferred name for the template. Select the Expression tab and select NOR from the list of options under the Operation drop-down box. Lastly, we will need to add a rule. To consider all prefixes from the name of the installed software application, in this case, ESET Endpoint Security. Go ahead to select Finish, and you'll be brought back to the main dashboard with a green notification to show Group Created. Now proceed to select Tasks and look for Software Install. Go ahead to create a new client task with your preferred task name. Once that is done, expand the Settings tab and select Package. Look for ESET Endpoint Security. You may also select the one with the latest version number, if applicable. You will receive a prompt to create a trigger event. Go ahead to create a new trigger description. In this example, we'll use Install Endpoint. Assign the created trigger to the dynamic group you've created at the start of this video. Under Trigger Type, select Join Dynamic Group Trigger and select Finish to complete the trigger setup. You should receive a green indication on the top right showing the task has been set up and activated. Now you have successfully created a rule to have ESET Protect automatically install ESET Endpoint Security to new computers within the office. How cool is that?